Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Ben Tei. Today, let's talk about how do we do model development through the diagram and icons. So, in our last video, we talked about how do we do the model through the text, those mathematical laws, those like physical laws behind. So, there actually there's another approach which is faster than this way. So, first, let me copy this folder. Let me rename it. Diagram. I will keep all of those components in this package container. Okay, we we'll start here. So we we'll start from the hit part. So let me click all of those open model here. And save it. Okay, let's start from the head part. For the head part, as you can see, this is my text layer. So this is define all those like a uh, parameter information behind. So actually, there is another layer called a diagram. So I want to design a, a diagram for my head part model. So basically, I just gave it as a ball as a head part. So I want to double uh, decorate my head part to be maybe this color and make it solid. Okay, here's my head part. I want to be my head part to be like that. But you can do other type of head part. You can do square. You can do multiple of shapes like, like this one. Or you can do line. So let me, let me just use a circle as a representation here. So another one is the icon layer. So let me save it first for the icon. So I can copy my diagram from the diagram layer to my icon layer. Okay, let's copy and paste. And you can see that here, uh, my head part, like a uh, icon changed. Previous is just a green square, but right now it's like red, red dot or red circle. Let's go back to our text layer. As you can see that there is an extra information pop up here called annotation. The diagram information, the icon information. So because I add something here, so those information will be added automatically. You don't need to worry about that. But you can change those variables to control the shape, the, the size of those diagrams. Okay, so next let's go to our head part. For head part, let's go to diagram layer. Okay, because my head part A inheritates the stuff from head part. So I already, all right, automatically the diagram will be inherited too. So for the, for the icon layer, I need to copy that to here too. So the same thing. Let's go back and check the text layer. As you can see that the the icon layer was added here. Then let's go back to the hit part B. I want to do the same thing for my diagram layer and the icon layer. The same thing for the text layer. It will add the graphics for me automatically. So then let's go to the wall model. So we define the wall model, which is the thermal capacitance. So for my diagram, I have nothing. So I want to design this wall, say, okay, I'm just, uh, I want to make a square. So I want to pick the color for my wall. Uh, for example, I want to make it yellow. I want to change the color to be this way. Okay, this is my wall. And I also I need to design those icon layer for my wall. So I can just copy that to be lady. In order to be lady that I just want to copy that to here. Okay, we have the wall ready. So next, let's go to the node. 
So, because we already have diagram for the hit part, so I don't need the text format hit part. I want to change that. So I'll comment that. Let's go back to my wall layer. So I just because for my wall, I want it just hit part B. So oh, double click wall. So double click wall that I'm in the wall model. Plus I need to go to diagram view. Then I will quickly grab my hit part B and move here. I'm an, I want rename it node. Okay. By this way, I create a node. Let's go back to my text layer. As you can see that the information was, was added automatically. Hit part B node, right? So let me save it. So next, let's go to uh, my ambient. So my ambient has, still has nothing. My ambient is just a constant temperature model. So my ambient say i want to uh, design like multi multi-sided this you know wear the shape i want to pick a color that i want to make it maybe gray make it like that okay here is my ambient. I want to copy that to my icon. Okay. So let's go back to the text layer because I also have the hit part. So let's comment that. So I want to add this node through the diagram layer. So that's hit part A, hit part A, called a node. I need to give the same name as my old node here. Okay, so we finished ambient, we finished the wall. So next we need to add a convection. For the thermal convection that uh, is a little bit complicated, uh, say I will use the line for example. So let's design it uh, carefully. Okay, here is my convection. So I want to copy and paste. Copy and paste. Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Okay, let's save it. So this is my summer convection. Let's copy that to the icon layer. Okay, we have the summer convection now. So let's go back to the text layer. As you can see that the diagram and icon was added here. So because my because my convection had hit parts, two hit parts, hit part A and hit part B, I want to comment them these two lines. So I can add them manually through the diagram layer. So node A and node, node B. So let's go to the diagram layer. So hit the part A, call the node A, hit the part B, call the node B. Let's go back to the text layer. I can see that this hit part node A and node B would add it automatically here. So I don't need worry, I don't need to worry about the equation because I use the same node name. Okay. Uh, as you can see that we finished the heat part, the wall, I mean, convection. Let's, next, let's do the cooling. Okay, the final complete model. So, 
let me comment all of my component model here. I want to do that through the diagram layer because I already have all the diagrams for my components. So let's go to my diagram. So I need to have a wall. I just say wall. I make it bigger. This is my wall. So before I do that, I need to also to comment those equation part too because those can be added automatically too. Okay, I will then have my convection. I copy the convection. I, so I call it a convection. I gave it the same name. I can enlarge my convection. I want to make it smaller. Then I have my ambient. A and B. Okay. Okay. Let's go back to our test layer. You can see that the wall convection ambient will add them automatically. Because there is more information here, like the annotation. So this represents the diagram. Okay. So then I need to connect connect them together for the equation part because there is a connect statement here and I connect the, uh, those two components through the node. So I, I can do the same thing automatically through the diagram layer. So let, me, let me make it a little bit bigger. Make it a little bit bigger. Okay, let's just click it. Click another component. And let's go back to our text layer. Okay. As you can see that those connect statements were added automatically here. My wall, my node A, my node B, and my ambient node. So uh, one more thing I need to do through the text layer, I need to add some uh, parameters here. For the wall model, we have uh, CP equal to 1.2 uh, t0 equal to okay for the convection part h a delta t i need to have h h equal to 1.5 a equal to 200 those parameters for the ambient i have t ambient equal to okay so I think I finished the model development through the diagram uh, layers. So let's double check the model here. No, uh, let me double check. Let me check the model first. Okay, as you can see that it still has 13 equations and 13 variables. That's a good sign that for the balanced model here. So let's, no, let, let, let's do the simulation setup here. Uh, one second, that is okay. Uh, it's simulated model. So let's wait here for a couple of seconds until the compilation will be finished. So it might take uh, like uh, three or five seconds for the compile here. Let's go to the bottom to check some of the compiled stuff. Okay, it said the permission denied compilation process field. Okay. Let's check the output. Let's double check the model here. Check the model. So we are good here. Let's check the hit part. Hit part. LT and Q. Hit part A. Hit part B. Wall. OK. 
Okay. Let's go to the cooling. Oh, we probably haven't saved the model yet. We need to save the model. For the diagram, okay, for the icon layer, we have nothing, but it's okay. Let's do... Let's do that. So whatever. Let's run the model again. Okay, so we finished this simulation. Let's double check the readout. We have two, let me see, double check that. So diagram, so check this diagram at the ambient. Okay, this is the hit flux. For the convection, we also have hit flux. Okay, for the wall, we have hit Flux. Okay, thank you. I think I finished this modeling practice to use the diagram layer for this model development. Hopefully you can enjoy this uh, modeling development. Thank you.